I'm going to start off by saying that I might look a little differently. That's because I'm using a new recording setup that has a little bit worse quality, but is way easier for me. Hope you can bear with me as I solve these technical issues. Um, but yes, today I promised you guys a spooky October challenge. And even though we didn't get enough entries to do the big challenge I wanted, I still wanted to give you some spooky October goodness. So I bring you today the very first installment of The Sims 4 Blood Island. <laughs> Um, if this video goes well, guys, I will do another one of these. If you guys enjoy it, we can keep doing them. I don't mind. And um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to murder some Sims today. They're getting murked. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, guys, so I am in the game. We did get five entries into this challenge, and I will go ahead and show you guys all of the, uh, the contestants. Now, these are going to be the contestants on the very first episode of Blood Island. <laughs> Um, the first one is Smith. This is by Nick. It says, Nia Smith, a girl who has made her way through a difficult life as a black woman using wit and logic. She is a genius and writes think pieces on the state of the world for one of the biggest magazines in Windenburg. This is Nia Smith, contestant number one. Let's look at our next contestant. The next contestant is by Kenobi. This is Mercedes Gomez. This is Mercedes Gomez, a witch for Marleswood October Blood Island. I think in these spooky days, we need a little smart witch who hears voices sometimes. You can find all the CC linked in her Twitter. I did not download it because I'm bad at commitment. But anyway, we're going to add her to the house and make sure that she has uh, at least is wearing clothing of some sort. She had really cool purple hair. Let's see what we can find that maybe would match it. Look, this one also has... Um, like bio liage and we can give her her cool purple hair back. So wait, is that the wrong one? Honey, honey, is this the one? I hold on. Is this the one? No, but that looks really cool. So this one just adds some blue braids. Look, I'm gonna keep the original style that you guys were going for. Give her like some cool purple braids. Love it. The next contestant is Sadie Layla. This, or his next contestant is by Sadie Layla, cute spring spellcaster. Um, Ronia has always been interested in magic ever since she was a small girl. Every day after school, she roamed through the woods of Glimmerbrook and imagined what it would be like if she was a spellcaster. One day, she discovered a hidden passage of the forest which made her wildest dreams come true. We have, by Pastel Pine Tree, um, Natalie Vincent. Natalie came to Blood Island to win. She worked as a secret agent in Oasis Spring before becoming a part of the island's challenge. Okay. And finally, in the competitions by Vi Sims, we have Catalea Vaughn. Oof. Um, Catalea comes from a long line of evil witches and mages. Although she's evil, she's very smart and ambitious. Catalea's biggest goal is to make everyone evil and make everyone fall under dark magic. Can you handle her? All right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so I want to tell you guys, you, the reason that you're wondering why there's a dice on the screen right now is because, um, I wanted to use Kawaii Stacy Survival House mod, but unfortunately the mod has been deleted. So we're going to do some other stuff <clears throat> and I'm going to make it work, but this is the Blood Island Mansion that I have created. If you would like to use it yourself, it's on the gallery and I have come up with a series of challenges and tribulations that losing will result in death for our five sims here. And I will not be controlling any of them any more than I have to. I will be controlling Lizette, our host of this competition. So what we're gonna do first is all the sims, they got here on 1.47 p.m. on a Saturday. We need to remember that exactly. Let me put it in the notes because these sims will have exactly 20 four hours to build skills and relationships in the Blood Island house for the, the, the competitions of this game. Um, I will show you guys the house now. I did build it. There are There is one fancy room that the winner of the first competition will get to sleep with, sleep in, which will give them an advantage because they have a really nice shower and bath, a really nice bed, and just generally better stuff. So for now, I'm going to Lock door for everyone but Lizette. Lizette, this will be your room now, um, but you will get booted later. And other than that, we have two dorm rooms with worse showers and worse beds, which will deter our opponent. 
components. Um, and that is the upstairs. We also have just like general activity building things. A library for skill building and many different skills. Um, and all of this will come into play later. A fitness gym, uh, a place where you could chill out and watch TV, a kitchen. And we have like a little beach area outside because we are on a beach. I mean, it's raining and it's the Blood Island house, but I wanted it to be on an island. So if you can see, we are on a small island in Sulani for this competition. And like I said, I'm going to give our Sims 24 hours to build skills in preparation for this week's competitions starting now. As you can tell, the house looks rather spooky in the rain. If we go into tab mode, the Blood Island house is looming above us all. Some of the Sims are getting to know each other. It's going to take me a minute to learn their names. So Catalea and Ronia are bonding over here. We have Mercedes and Natalie bonding over here. And Nia is getting a jump start on some skills. She is reading a book. She's reading 100 Tricks You Can Teach Your Familiar, a spellcaster book. I think Nia here realizes that she has spellcasters in her midst. And that she will need to up her game if she's going to beat them. A um, little bit of an embarrassing conversation going on out here. An awkward encounter. And Ronia is digging for seashells. You know, that, that wasn't a challenge, but Mercedes is chilling outside in the rain. She said, fuck you, rain. I think the welcome wagon is here. And this might be helpful later. I don't know. Who has the most relationships in the house might come into play later on. So I would hope that these guys go get to chatting. Um, I will have our host here, Lizette, come and let them in. Why don't you come invite neighbors in? It's raining. Be polite. Just because this is reality TV doesn't mean we don't respect our neighbors. We have one water balloon fight happening on between Ronia and Mercedes outside. Catalea made hot dogs. Um... Natalie also is enjoying the hot dog. She may have played some chess. And Nia is being paranoid, running inside. Uh, but we do have some bonding going on in the house between some of the members. We, we, are clean, we are seeing some clear alliances forming here. Ooh, look at the sun back there. Wow. So we have some clear alliances forming here between Mercedes and Ronia. Um... Catalea is seeming to get along very well with Nia. Also, Lizette is getting involved, which I'm not going to stop, but uh, maybe you shouldn't be, girl. It's not really your job. Why don't you just go enjoy yourself? Why don't you go downstairs and watch some TV? You don't have long for relationship building, my friend. And I do want you guys to know building skills now will help you later. So please, someone build some skills. Do we have any? Do we come free with any skills? So she has a mischief level 10, which might help her in the competition. Charisma 6, cooking 4, fitness 7, handiness 5, herbalism 9, great. She has a mischief 1. Uh, Mercedes has charisma 2, fishing 1, fitness 2, guitar 2, logic 5, mischief 3, and piano 2. So she has some skills. Natalie has cooking level 1, which will help her later. Um... And Nia has logic level one. Very proud of Nia. Getting started on that logic when no one else is. Do things and meet people and stuff. It is important to be friendly with others in the house, even though we are going to murder them. You still don't want to be an asshole, you know? No one seems to be using any of the exercise equipment. I guess we don't have any fit sims in here, and I'm not going to tell them what to do. All right, guys, I will come back if anything interesting happens. Oop! Oop! We have a nudist in the house. Who is this? Mercedes, what are you doing? Why are you nude? She's distracting the competition. She's showering in the rain. We have a power play, ladies and gentlemen, because Mercedes has decided to shower in the rain. We have Catalea going through a bit of an emotional time. She needs to do something. She's not moving towards her goals enough. What goals, buddy? Um, well, honey, you know, no one's stopping you. You have infinite free time in the house to better yourself. And instead, she has gone to bed early, called it a night. These two are downstairs bonding, building relationship. Good for them. Um, Mercedes is cooking, and she's doing great. She's also just talking to herself. Just like, just like chatting, chatting to herself. Okay, guys, so it is 2 a.m. I'm going to get everyone in the house to come into the kitchen because we are about to start. I mean, 2 p.m. 
We are about to start our very first challenge. And I have decided that the first challenge will be the cooking competition. So we are going to have everyone gather down here for the choosing ceremony. This is where the number generator will become important because we're going to roll the dice to see which two sims have to compete in the very first challenge. It's going to be done at random um, using a random number, using the dice roller. So not every sim will compete in every challenge. And the sim who loses, of course, will be sentenced to death at Blood Island. That's what makes it so bloody. So everyone is in the room. It is time to choose. We are going to use the number order that's at the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. If it's five, we will roll again. This is what the dice is going to be for. Our first sim that we'll be competing is... Number five. Roll again. Is... Number four. Mrs. Natalie. Mrs. Natalie, come on down. She's not feeling great, which won't help. You will get the right side of the kitchen. The second sim that will be competing is... Number six, Mrs. Nia Smith. You will be getting the left side of the kitchen. Please go here. Both of them are feeling uncomfortable, so there will be no unfair advantages. What we're going to do is have them cook the exact same meal. Um, and whichever one comes out better quality will win so this seems to be mrs nia's first time cooking okay so natalie is getting her cake into the oven natalie put the cake in the oven nia has her cake in the oven both cakes are baking okay nia presents a cake of normal quality so natalie either has to do a cake of better quality or equal and she makes a cake of normal quality all right, we will move on to a different a different meal. Nia, can you please come here and cook um mac and cheese for a party of 8? And Natalie, can you come here and cook mac and cheese party of 8? Nia is looking quite dirty. We did have a situation where a couple of the Sims may have used the potty in their pants because I built the bathroom wrong. Ah, no fault of their own. It is only mine. All right. So Natalie's already having some trouble over here. I just saw her burn herself. Come on, Natalie. You're looking grumpy. You're looking angry. You're looking like you're not wanting to be doing this right now. And how is Nia looking over here? Are you in better spirits, my friend? And she has dropped the salt shaker into the mac and cheese. Meanwhile, Catalea is enjoying a slice of cake. All right. Nia has finished. And she has made mac and cheese of normal quality. And Natalie has finished, has made mac and cheese of poor quality. Dun, dun, dun. All right, guys, you know what this means. It means that Nia has officially won the challenge. Congratulations, girl. Um, in order of winning the challenge, I will get you something nice. However, Natalie... It's your unlucky day, my friend. Please stop what you're doing and come to the front of the house for the goodbye ceremony. I won't make the others come and watch, but however, they will probably mourn for her after she's gone. Come on, Natalie. Let's go, buddy. I'll see you out front. I'm so sorry to do this to you, my friend. You were a worthy competitor. If you are the creator of Natalie, thank you so much for submitting your sim. She did great in the competition today. However, unfortunately, her time has come to an end in Blood Island. And there she goes, friends. Natalie has been evicted from Blood Island. Let's see how our other contestants are taking it. Nia, because you have won the last challenge, I am going to help you out, sister. Why don't you come upstairs and take a shower, get clean, get ready, because you could be very well be competing again. Okay, guys, it looks like that Lizette is feeling a little bit angry from talking to one of the housemates. She's coming over here to mourn Natalie, which is very sweet of her. 
Um, we're going to start a Blood Island graveyard back here, I think. While the Sims, you know, go about their night. Go about their night. Keep building skills. Keep preparing. You never know what the next challenge will be. See Nia studying. Nia is now studying. What is she studying? She's studying a world without magic. So she is learning. She is up. She's won competition. She's feeling focused. She's ready to take down the others. Okay, guys, we are back the next day. Everyone is in their fitness wear. And that is because it is time for the next Blood Island Challenge. Um, this time, obviously, of course, Mrs. Nia will be exempt because she won the last challenge. She will be put back in the pool for the next challenge, but she gets a one challenge pass. So it will be between Ronia, Catalea, and Mercedes. We'll be rolling our dice to find out who it is. We're going to go to a four dice. All right, and we are going to roll between the three of them. One, two, three. Ready? Two. So the first sim competing will be Catalea. Catalea, come on down. Go ahead and go here. And the second sim competing will be... Three, it will be Mrs. Mercedes. Mercedes, come on down. Get ready to compete. Today's challenge will be a fitness challenge. So, here's what we're going to do. I know that if you have two Sims play um, a game of horse, it will tell you who the winner is. So, I, uh, Catalea, or Mercedes, I need you to challenge, challenge to a hoops competition, Catalea. Okay, they're competing now, guys. We will watch. Ooh, and Mercedes makes a shot right off the bat. Catalea is not happy about that one. She makes an instant score here. Wait, did someone already lose and win? Uh-oh, uh-oh. It looks like our girl, Catalea, has lost. And Mercedes has won. You can see right here she has the moodlet. How could she lose? Losing a basketball challenge can be so demoralizing. And it can also mean sudden death, um, which is what it's going to mean today. So, Catalea, my girl, you have been a valiant competitor in this week's competition. But I'm sorry to tell you that your time in the Blood Island house has ended. And there she goes, friends. Catalea is out. We have three competitors left in the competition. And I will see you guys tomorrow for the next challenge. Okay, guys. So I have them all downstairs. And it is time for the third challenge. Um, and today, since Mercedes won the last challenge, she is exempt from this one. Meaning that it will be a challenge between our girls, Ronia and Nia. Nia's second challenge in the competition and one that I think she'll excel at because she has some logic skill and today's challenge is going to be a logic challenge. Okay, so I finally have the two playing a game of chess. The winner of this one will, will move on to the Blood Island Finals. Uh, Ronia has developed a rash, maybe from stress. This is her first competition in the game and Nia's second. And Ronia, unfortunately, has a, has a lower logic skill. She didn't choose to develop it. Um, Nia's is a little bit higher. It's one of the skills she really focused on. So she does have an advantage in this competition. Though she is getting some bad moodlets. So who knows? While Ronia is feeling playful. Um, right now it looks like Ronia is winning. But we will see. We will see. Now see how quick things change in Sims Chess. Wow, isn't this so fun to watch, guys? It's like watching paint dry. Nia's looking upset. I have a feeling that she's not doing too hot. She is not looking happy about this competition. It's one that I thought she would excel in, and yet she is not. She has proven my assumptions wrong. She hasn't even moved a chess piece in, in a, a great amount of time. Okay, guys, it is into the night. The ghosts of contestants past are coming to watch the competition. Um, and the girls have been playing all the way into the nighttime. If you look out the windows over there, it's dark outside now. And we have still not come to a winner. Come on, ladies. Win or lose already. All right, guys. So it's not looking like that they have finished the game. I have decided that the next person to get out of their chair loses. Um, and so we're going to sit here until someone gets out of their chair. I will be back with you when someone does. Now they're just chatting. They're like, I'm not going to get out of this chair first. It won't be me. Both of you have gotten up six times. And now you're acting like you just don't want to? 
Come on, this make this a fair game. Get out of your chairs. <gasps> and it was Nia. Nia got out of her chair first. Nia. Wait, did we get moodlets for who won the game? Did we? Did we get moodlets? No, we did not. So my rules apply. Nia, you got out of your chair first. Nia, you were a strong competitor. However, it is time for you to be evicted. Please go here. Nia, it was an absolute pleasure to have you into the house. However, your time on Blood Island has ended. And unfortunately, Nia is out of the Blood Island house, and there is absolutely no time to mourn, because it is time for the final competition. However, the final competition is really a final judging, because I said that relationships would be important in the end. So now it is time to add up the relationship points of all of the Sims, of all of the Sims that they have made relationships with. I said from the beginning that being a part of the Blood Island house was not about only being the best, but about being a cool person. And because of that, we are going to add up the relationship levels with every person in their relationship panel and see who has more. Starting with our girl, uh, Mercedes. Mercedes, let's check your relationships. We have a 30 with Ronia. 30 plus 16 plus 14 plus 2 plus 2 plus 13 plus 12. That brings us to a total of 89 points for a Mercedes. And for our final contestant, Miss Ronia, she has quite a bit of an advantage here because of Nia, but this negative relationship will cost her negative points. So let us add it up. So she has 86 points here, puts her in the lead. However, she does have all those negative points at the end. So this might not be the end for her. She's competing against 77 points total from Mercedes. Plus 16, plus 30, plus 30, negative 68, plus 2, bringing her to a total of 96 points. Miss Ronia, congratulations. You are the winner of Blood Island. First, we have one more contestant to take care of. You know what? I think for the top two, we're going to let Mercedes live. And we're going to let her live and possibly see the light of day in a future co competition. But for you, Miss Ronia, you have won the Blood Island competition. Yay! You are the winner, and your creator, your god, your creator, will be winning a Sims 4 expansion pack. Um, thank you so much. Thank you so much for competing, everyone. Let's check out who Ms. Ronia's creator, our winner, was. All right, guys. It looks like Ronia was created by Sadie La La La. I will find her Twitter name and make sure that she receives her pack after this video goes live. And that is the end. Mercedes, of course, um, we're, she's allowed to live, but you did not win. Maybe we will see you again in the next competition. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sadie La La La, I will make sure that I am gifting you an extension pack of your choice. Hit me up on Twitter. If you competed, thank you so much for competing. You guys are the best. I can't wait to do this challenge again. If you liked it, leave it in the comments down below what kind of challenges you would like to see me do next time. You can upload your Sims for the next competition to hashtag Miles World October and hashtag Blood Island 2. We will be doing a part two to this. Upload your Sims, upload your Sims. I might not be doing an expansion pack giveaway every single time. I'm not a rich bitch. However, I will be doing something special for the winners every single time. So share this video with your friends if you thought it was fun. Leave a comment and a like down below. It really helps me out. And upload your Sims to hashtag Blood Island 2 or hashtag Marl's World October so that I can see them for the next time we do this challenge.